Now to 12 months, 12 causes. This month, we're focusing on protecting our natural resources. Tonight, we shine a light on the Palm Springs Office of Sustainability. 12 months, 12 causes. NBC Palm Springs celebrates Mother Earth Month in partnership with Royal Emerald Pharmaceuticals. So my name is Patrick Tellerico, and I am the manager of the Office of Sustainability here at the city of Palm Springs. And the Office of Sustainability was created about 15 years ago to uh, formally lead and coordinate the implementation of the city's sustainability programs, which range from everything from waste and recycling management all the way to climate change and uh, greenhouse gas reductions. The Sustainability Office really came about as a result of I think growing awareness about some of the environmental challenges that the city was facing, uh, as well as growing regulations related to these environmental issues. The city's always been a leader in sustainability and some of the uh, first initiatives that it took on were uh, things like bike infrastructure, so increasing the amount of bike lanes in the city as well as bike uh, racks. They also were a leader in implementing EV charging for electric vehicles to promote them uh, back in the day when they were really just starting out. So it served as both an indicator that we were kind of poised for the future, but also uh, an incentive for more residents to adopt them and to, to purchase them because they would have the infrastructure there to, to support them. Right now, we are gearing up for a new era of recycling program here in the city to include organics management as well as the typical recycling elements and uh, waste management. Probably the biggest thing though recently that has been a recent accomplishment for us is the move to desert community energy. So the city decided a few years ago to move to a community choice aggregate to purchase its energy for the uh, residents and for businesses here in Palm Springs in an effort to move people more towards uh, carbon free energy to address climate change issues. One of the things that really moved me was our work with the Desert Learning Academy and the students there. Um, they had done a public service announcement on the impact of ocean plastics on uh, sea life. And not only did they do that public service announcement, they also engaged the city council in that effort. I was really thrilled when I was able to send them a note uh, this last year, or, I'm sorry, earlier this year, whenever our city council actually passed our new foodware ordinance, which among other things, it bans polystyrene uh, foam containers, foodware containers, as well as plastic straws here in the next year. So, um, so it was so exciting to see that, um, that grassroots level, young people initiated type of activity result in actually citywide policy that's gonna make a difference for, for residents everywhere. So I think for me, the biggest thing is trying to get people to own their environment, right? So we want to make sure that people are aware of their environmental impact and are aware of the right thing to do to reduce that impact. 12 months, 12 causes. NBC Palm Springs celebrates Mother Earth Month in partnership with Royal Emerald Pharmaceuticals.